So a company called Qblock kindly sent me a modular power strip. Modular being that you can customize it whatever you want. Uh, so I believe this will be launched on the crowdfunding campaign soon. So I'll be one of those first uh, testers on it. So enough said, let's actually get into the box, shall we? So here it goes. All right, so we got the uh, card letter that says, Dear whoever, thank you for trying out Qblock. We're excited to inform you that you're one of the first batch to welcome Qblock to the world. Honored. Uh, in the box, you'll find the quick start guide to help you get on with it easier and better. We aim at releasing effectively modular power cubes, bringing more joy and uh, convenience to your work and daily life. Hopefully, it can offer you an overall pleasurable experience. We'd love to hear any suggestions or compliments from you. Uh, your genuine feedback will be taken into consideration for future improvement. Thanks again for choosing Qblock. Uh, best regards, Qblock team. So thank you for the letter. Let's get into the uh, Qblock Power Dock and Modular Cubes user manual, shall we? So first page is about just the introduction and the content. Uh, so we got the diagram on the second page. So the power plug is, is linked up to, oh, we got the secure lock. So that's really good. And the um, foolproof embossed line. So in other words, it actually guides you to plug in the actual uh, modular units in the right way. Uh, the power outlet and the reset on off. And along with that, we got the power cube modulars, which uh, one of them is the USB type C that comes with the USB type A, uh, a normal power socket. For me, I'm actually based in UK, so I would expect to uh, have the UK power sockets. And we got the sensor lamp, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it does make a lot of sense actually. So you can actually have a lamp on your um, power strip. Cool. Um, and then the next page is pretty much straightforward. We just plug in and then set it up. All right, so for the rest of the context inside the box, we got the actual uh, power strip that actually has the sensor lamp, that's cool. Uh, and the USB-C and USB-A combined modular unit, and also the UK uh, power socket as well. Um, we can also see these uh, secure locks and the main switch of power on and off. Uh, so I can pretty much tell that this is extra secure on the risk of electrical uh, accidents, fires and so on. So that's pretty good because that's what the uh, UK standards are demanding as well. So well thoughtful uh, design and along with that as well, we got a grey colour of another UK power socket if I do want to change it with either the other ones that are not. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so the cube log is now plugged in. So to start with, you got to make sure you turn on the main power uh, so that, oh, okay, I can see that this sensor lamp is actually, uh, ha yeah, it's working already. That's quite cool. So as you touch, it gets brighter. Um, so you can choose each level, okay? So let's say if I were to turn it off, but move, yeah, oh, okay, so that's quite cool, isn't it? Uh, so every time you move, I believe it will actually turn off by itself, um, but once there's a movement, it will actually automatically turn on to the level of brightness that you set upon, okay? Uh, the second one is the USB-C uh, and USB-A. So let's actually try out the USB-C uh, version of the plugin, shall we? So I got my uh, Samsung super fast wireless charging uh, unit. So, um, okay, so we can see the green and the red flashlight. That's a very good sign. Let's actually check it out whether this can charge into super fast level, shall we? So if we were to place that, it says, wow, see, fast wireless charging. So that's pretty cool. It actually means that the wireless is working on a fast charge level. So that means we've got substantial amount of power going on on this uh, power source. That's also pretty cool. So when I looked at the UK power socket uh, plug-in modular unit, I was initially confused why uh, this bit here is actually on the east side as we look at it in this point of view. Normally it's actually on the north or the south side for the power strip, okay? So once you actually press the uh, 
button and you pull it out, you'll notice that there are three plugs here um, with the foolproof guide line, two of them here. While as we got the um, power holes of five of them. So it immediately made sense that you can either go for this original arrangement or you can actually rotate it for doing like this. And there's a good point for doing this actually. So let's say if we go back to the original and we got a rather chunky uh, UK power socket here. This is actually a universal unit. Um, and then you, at the same time, you're trying to plug in the, um, the laptop uh, plug, power plug. You can't because this is actually on the wrong position. So what you can do is that you take the whole thing out you rotate it this way and this one too is that you actually rotate it um, this way so in result you can do this and you can do that so that it's all arranged together nicely so you can customize the rotation for a friendlier uh, cable management solution, okay? So I guess to start with, uh, this should technically be on the other side because um, some plugs might need to be rotated onto the other uh, angle. So if we were to put it here, that's more sensible, isn't it? So to start with, why don't we put the computer power socket here, okay? And next to that is the Samsung Superfast wireless charge USB a C plug and then at the same time why don't we charge my uh, sleepy soul plus and then lastly let's also plug in my camera um, battery charger as well so that's all plugged in you can see that this itself is pretty clever and then we still have another slot for the sensor light as well to function so that's all pretty cool i have to say isn't it so i think this sensor lamp is unique and pretty cool but if i do need an extra uk power socket i could always reach out to this spare modular unit uk power socket which comes with a lid okay so all i need to do is basically pull this out put it into the actual lid so it's nice and secure and it looks pretty cool. I love the blue color, by the way. And then we can replace that with another UK power socket. So we got three plus the USB-A and USB-C plug, which is pretty much uh, quite useful indeed. So I love the wording modular here. It means that you can actually customize the position of each modular power socket units on your own preference. But not only that, um, I actually managed to find out from the Qblock pre-launch crowdfunding campaign website they also come up with a speaker as well. So I'm sure in the future, they're gonna come up with so many different sort of clever design that you can actually plug in to add uh, as a really nice tech uh, modular power strip and so on. So I really look forward to their other upgraded new inventions and so on so that hopefully I can review that in the future as well. So overall, the weight of the uh, Q-Block itself is heavier than the standard uh, power strip, but I'm sure there's a good reason behind it, especially with the uh, safety reason and, and so on. Um, I just love the colors as well, how they present it. You can immediately distinguish which units is which uh, with the light gray, uh, pink, strong red, uh, green, and also the light blue. This is one of my favorite blue color actually, uh, and so on. So really good quality. I'm very happy with the design and also the concept uh, and so on. So I hope this video demonstrates to you what this Q-Block is, but if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best, bye-bye.